after successfully cashing spikes on the one minute time frame now let's look at how we can trade sanely and what i mean by trading sanely is without the fear of spike taking us out or excessive slippages Welcome to this channel. My name is CryptoCube and I'm welcoming you to CryptoCube's Trading Hub. So now I'm going to show you how you can also use your Fibonacci to trade <coughs> this particular crash index. This method will be applicable to all other indices like maybe the crash. We have the crash 300, 500, 1000. And we have the boom the boom is the opposite of the crash let me quickly show that for a minute sorry with these platforms that are a bit slow as you can see on crash the spikes happen to the downside but on boom the spikes happen to the upside and on the one minute time frame on the boom you see a massive spikes boom 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 then you have down six. Then you have down six. So the same strategy we apply to all the boom and crash in this. But I have just found solace with this crash tree on red hair, and I'll be studying it and trading it for some days now. So following my last video with cash and spikes, sleep pages still occur on this time frame as well like if you have your stop loss below this particular green candle and this spikes happens true if this full movement happened at a particular minute then your stop will not be filled at this point but at this point but if it at first happened on the one minute stopped maybe it will take you out before continuing Okay, let's quickly analyze that. Let me have this. Let's see how that happened. This top most red started at 205. Now let me go to one minute. <clears throat> Sorry for this, my dry throat. Okay, this is it. Oh, oh, I could have marked that top level. Okay, let's say your stop loss. Is at that point now back to the one minute okay now this was the highest i can do and your stop loss would have been at this level so this takedown or this spike down happened just one minute in that five minute time frame so if you have your stop at this point you won't be filled at that particular point but at this point but as we have, like, I'm trying to find another example. Maybe, maybe at this point, or um, assuming you have, oh, I just have to go back to the five minutes time frame to find a real example. But then when you get trading this, you get to see how the slip pages work. Okay, like now, assuming you have your stop loss below here, this point. And on the one minute time frame, this candle then, this was this high before this. So let's see the moment or the point at which you will be taken out. And if slippage will catch you or not. Okay, this is it. So at this point, you have your stop loss at this level. Now see the first crash happen. It didn't take you out then went on went up then the next crash happened which didn't quite get there but then the last crash that happened was also only one minute and it took you out so you won't be filled at this point but at this point but if your stop loss were to be below here then this week through it would have filled you and taken you out before this next spike down so back to the business of the day 
we are not here to talk about stop placement. So, as you can see from this point, I'm not looking at the higher type of instruction. From this point, we were bearish. So, let's quickly take our structural moves. This was a low, this was a high. That's not the low we close here. So, this low is not making not lower. So, this will be the low. Okay, this is the red line now. This will be the high. Now, we have this low, yes. This high, then this low, then this high. Let's stop there for now. So, we have this move down to this point. Move up. You can take your Fibonacci too. We're going to be using it now. <clears throat> Let me just do this. Let me remove my pet. And as you can see, this did not exactly correct up to the 50% level. But this is a 5 minutes time frame, which means every structural moves count. Every structural moves count. So, as this does not retrace back to the 50% level, it is still a valid swing high. Not retracing back to the 50% level does not mean at a later point that price can do something like this. Let me use the arrow. We have this move down. Then we have this move up. And then we have this move down. This didn't get to the 50% level, which would be somewhere around here. At a later time, Price can come like this to the 50% level where you would be waiting and then go down. But for this eye to be taken out, it means the trend has changed. The structure has changed. The 60% or 50% still holds just to push price back to retest the new level of demand or the new Fibonacci level. Let's proceed. We will get to see that. So let's quickly mark this level now. It didn't get there. It didn't get there. <clears throat> no. Now, here now, I think we have this is a 50% of this entire swing up. But then let's mark our this level. Because it was at this point that we have a move towards the 50% level. So this would have been a point of interest, right? And you see price reacted from that level. So you see caught a spike. But then following the structure, we have this move down, up, move down, up. Was this the low? Okay, this is higher. Then to this point, then move lower, move higher, move lower. This makes this point the invalidation point, which if price goes above of it, trend has changed. And we have price putting a week above it at this point. That is just for the bigger picture. If price do not make a 50% retracement on the first swing, the second swing, and on the larger swing, you still get it to work. But the trend has changed at that point. But if you follow every swing like this, as it didn't make that retracement, you move on from it. You make a new level at this point, 50% level like this. 50% level reach, where will be your point of interest? That is a 60 level, then this is a 70 level. Now see what happened. Price came into it. Let me move this to the front a bit. Price came into it and you caught a spike on five minutes. This low became a new low. Then we have this highs. So what do you do? 
you have that new highs and then you have a new lows where is your 60 percent level let me move this line now <coughs> this is your 50 percent level price came there this is a 61 78 so your boss zone could be like this it got front run it didn't feel what happened price went down so as price went down you just move your fibonacci to the last lows from the last high which is this where would your zone have been this is a 60 level to the 70 level price came into it came down a bit your stop will be above this side right came back again there came back lower with a little bit i don't know if you can see that little weak above this high here that means trend has changed that was the moment trend changed but if you do not accept that then price came here giving you another bigger week which means trend has fully changed then what you want to do is follow the trend as it has changed maybe at this first point your new level let me now take this to the front you have a new level right which is a 60 to 70 you can make it 50 to the 100 it doesn't matter you just get filled earlier your stop or should always go below the swing low now we have a week into it i don't know if i can see that let me even try and change the color of this thing let me make it i'm just realizing it's kind of too is it too thick too dark okay better so price came into it and then it went up so now you have another high to this so just mark that high mark the high mark the new low then where should your point of entry go to the 61 level at this point you didn't get filled it came to the 50% level it came a bit higher so if you want to be following these small small moves up it's left to you then like this then we see it now coming where is the 61 level it started from there to this point we see it it came into it and then boom then what happened we have this new lows and this new highs so where is your point of interest 61 level to 78 price came into it a bit below it your stop loss should be below here what happened big rally up now here is another cash i want to tell you this last move up from this point to this point it also has its own mini structure right now let's draw it out we have from this low we have this this low let me put it sideways then i don't know if okay this seems to be higher than this i don't know if you can actually see this but just bear with me then we have this side this low this particular red kind of slow then we have this side then this low now we have this side so this particular candle or well, this particular move up has its own structures which is this and what this means is why this is still a full leg up on its own as we one leg up as a one leg up the moment price goes below this which is invalidation for this move alone it means we are getting a deeper correction for this entire leg up so all you have to do is take your fibonacci now mark these levels like this and where is your zone your zone is here and that will be a point of interest where you want to enter but right now what is happening price has come into the 50 percent level and this down structure it has taken it out 
which means price may just come back to retest the Fibonacci of this particular structure break which means at this point if it wants to make a retest make a retest and then continue higher because this entire swing has made a 50 percent of this entire swing up and it has broken structure and that structure that it broke this is it let me quickly show you we have this move down move up that is not a very structure low this is high low high and sideways boom that is it at this point we have a structure break so we pull back and then move up that will be what is imminent you may watch this thing on the higher time frame too to get your bias that means this entire move up has been corrected by the move into this 50 percent level but then why you keep saying these candles go below the last candle slow means it's just a mini structural play this went below this this went below all this this didn't go below this this didn't go below this so this move down now can be just a pullback for this particular last move up and if you trade earlier to have and as you can see where would this this will have been the 60 percent level to the 70 percent level of this came down to the 50 percent push up a bit came into it tried to give some reaction broke it took out your stop that is below here just to fill this entire swing up and if you trade earlier to waves what will you have taken this to be let me see if earlier to wave <coughs> is here so you have like let's say this is one two this will be three four and this is five and you know when the fifth wave is completed what do you expect you expect a bigger correction something like an abc i'm not an expert in any other wave earlier to express this like an abc and that is what we've got so price breaking this invalidation high it may make a retracement it might not make if i were not on this video i would have taken a breakout entry because most times these trades or these assets the moment the high gets broken like this it doesn't make a retracement but then you may just take the breakout entry and then you see the pullback but then i will have to at least got in a leg in on this point and if you just as a bonus if you look at the one hour time frame and let me shift this back to auto as you can see we have exact swings and they are very very volatile some could have taken this as an invalidation because we have this swing up down up down but like i told you on the five minutes time frame this can just be a mini structure you understand but just play the structure as you see it and catch spikes with fee bonuses you do not need any indicators to cloud your sense of judgment when trading these assets i tried indicators i watched some guys youtubes they add some 100 percent accuracy indicators to catch spikes i tried it played it watched it i lost money then I sat down, studied this asset, <coughs> looked at the structure on the one minute, see the way they move, see the way they pull back, see the way they react, and I found it. This can also work with supply and demand, as if you're a supply and demand trader, the moment you have a move up, a move down, a move up like this, where is your area of demand? Your area of demand as per my teachings will be this level. So you have a week below it, which means trend might be possibly changing but then we have to see if trend is truly changing on this forward time frame from what happens at this point here price is bullishly into it but then we have to go or we have to get a leg below this to ascertain that price has exactly turned on the forward time frame so that is how you catch spikes do not forget to subscribe to this channel 
for more educational content and in a way to support my teachings also share this channel so a lot more people who think trading is difficult can actually see how easy it is thank you for watching and thank you for catching spikes with me